marine pollution by microplastics among plastic litter is an issue that should be addressed by the international community. In order to properly implement effective measures, it is necessary to understand the distribution of microplastics in the seas from land-based sources. In the guidelines for river microplastic monitoring methods, published by the Ministry of the Environment in June 2021, survey method is set on the joint research project by National Institute for Environmental Studies and local environmental institutes has worked to standardize the survey methodology based on the guideline by MOEJ. As part of the joint research project, this manual is prepared to provide a simplified explanations of the survey on the key points. A flow meter and a bottom pipe are installed to the mouth on the end of a commercial short corn shaped plankton net with 30 cm in diameter and 0.3 mm mesh openings that is used for collecting underwater plankton in rivers. Float is attached near the cut end to avoid touching the bottom lever because of the weight of cut end. This is an example of fixation of the flow meter with strings. A flow meter is installed at the center of the net frame. This is an example of fixation of the flow meter with a metal frame. It allows more accurate measurements than an example of fixation with strings by the stability and the low possibility of the contact with the loader and net. In the survey under low flow condition in levers, a digital flow meter with a loader for low flow velocity is connected. It is necessary to check that the loader rotates normally with water flow and is not separated. Locations where the water depth is 50 cm must be chosen as a survey location to avoid the net touching the bottom of the river. In the case of hanging from bridges, the net is lowered to rivers with a rope. When samples are collected from bleaches, the bleach hand layers are lopped in sheets to prevent contamination of the net by coating debris falling from the bleach hand layers. In this case, sheets made of plastic-based cloth must not be used. In case of sampling at entering a river raw water channels, fix the rope to the bar. Alternatively, in case of slow current, sink directly into the river by hand. After the lapse of filtering water volume, the net is pulled up and the rotation number of the flow meter is recorded immediately. It must be careful not to rotate the rotor of the flow meter by wind before reading the rotation number. Waterfall washing net must be filtered by net with 0.1 mm mesh openings that are smaller mesh openings than nets for sampling. Samples in the net are collected to the cut end by pulling washing to the net from the outside and transferred to storage containers. Samples that adhere to the cut end or bottom pipe are transferred to storage containers with a small amount of washing. It should be careful to prevent contaminants in the container and not to leave any samples in the net. A spray can be used instead of a watering can. It is recommended to use a spray or watering can not made of plastic because of contamination. When the nets are taken back to laboratories, their mouths are covered with clothes and they are put in cloth bags and carried to the laboratories. In the laboratory, the nets are washed with tap water and the samples are transferred to stretch containers. Required and recommended items at sampling must be measured and recorded in full. It is recommended to prepare date seed for survey in advance.
put a net with 0.1 mm mesh openings on glass container A. Carefully pour samples through the net to filter out impurities. Remove large plant pieces with tweezers. Once all samples were poured, transfer the net to another container and pour all residue into the net. After our samples are poured into container again, the remaining samples on the net is transferred to another container to complete the washing process. If water is too much, dry at 60 degrees or less in ovens to remove water content from the samples. However, do not dry them up completely. It is the best condition that wet samples do not move when containers were tilted. It reacts more effectively if the sample has less water, because it is not diluted by the hydrogen peroxide to be added later. Depends on the condition of the sample. Add carefully 100 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide solutions to the containers in several divided portions. After stopping bubbling by adding hydrogen peroxide, heat slowly in 5 to 10 degrees in increment by water bath. It takes a period of about 3 days that organic composition is properly done. Rinse the sample into the petri dish in the same way as washing. When pouring a heavy liquid into funnels, fill the heavy liquid to over the top of the tube or connected points to prevent particles from getting caught. After separation is completed, rinse the top of layer and tube. Especially, it should be rinsed carefully at funnels and connected points because particles tend to remain. From the treated samples, candidate plastic particles are sorted out. Then, the longest lengths of them are measured, and they are sorted by color and shape. Longest lengths can be measured by visual or image processing. Please refer to polygraph 531 or 532 of the guideline for details and record about individual particles. These are examples of shape categories. Please refer to polygraph 55 of the guide drawing for details. These are examples of color categories. Please refer to paragraph 5-6 of the guide drawing for details. Wipe crystal with ethanol and dry it enough before performing FTIR analysis. Configure measurement conditions and perform background measurements. After background measurements were set, cramp sample to the crystal one by one. Perform measurements when sample is ready and identify plastic types by doing spectral retrieval in the library for displayed infrared spectrum. Record and save the data. Analytical condition at analysis must be recorded in full. 
It is recommended to prepare date seed for analysis in advance.